This video is a rapid review when you're on the way to a ventilator call and need to brush up in a hurry. Equipment needed at bedside. Your LTV 1200 mechanical ventilator. From your purple vent bag, you will retrieve a vent circuit and HEPA filter. Your heart monitor, a full portable oxygen tank with a quick connect pigtail. Make sure to open the valve on your main oxygen tank so it will be ready when you load the patient up and switch sources. Don't forget a bag valve mask just in case. First steps. Attach the vent circuit and HEPA filter. Connect to your oxygen tank via the quick connect. Make sure the valve is open. Collect your vent settings from the hospital staff. Patient category, ventilator mode, respiratory rate, tidal volume, inspiration time, oxygen concentration, and PEEP value. Note that a pediatric patient or infant will receive ventilation by pressure control, not by tidal volume. If the ventilator mode is SIMV, the patient will have a pressure support setting as well. Before you connect to your patient, power on the ventilator and program in the vent settings. Select new patient. Select patient category. As soon as you confirm patient category, the vent will begin to operate. Because it is not connected to the patient, the alarms will start almost immediately. This is expected and can be ignored for now. Be ready to push the silence reset button once to limit the distraction this noise causes. Now you can dial in the rest of your settings. To enable SIMV mode, you will need to toggle the button until the mode is lit with a solid light. Ask respiratory therapy to look over your vent settings and alarm limits to confirm they are all correct. Now you can shut off the ventilator until you are ready to connect to the patient. After you've taken report and assessed the patient, move the patient onto your cot and package them for transport. You should always have a vented patient on the cardiac monitor Four lead, NIBP, SPO2, and n tidal CO2. With respiratory therapy standing by at the hospital ventilator, power on your LTV ventilator and select same patient. This will immediately trigger it to resume ventilating with the settings you programmed earlier. Your alarm may go off as before. This is normal. Connect the vent circuit to the patient's airway and push the silence reset button twice to clear the alarms and resume normal operation. Assess the patient's breathing and vitals. Respiratory therapy will assist you if your vent alarms persist. Begin transport once you have finished making any adjustments. Be confident, you've got this. Remember to switch over to your main oxygen tank when you have loaded the patient into the ambulance. Your remaining portable tank pressure should be evaluated with consideration of how far you need to travel to the receiving hospital to reach the patient's destination. Please watch the rest of the videos in this folder for expanded instructions on ambulance ventilator transport. This is only a crash course review and is not intended to stand alone.